Unlocking the Secrets of Saltwater Trolling A Beginner's Guide Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of English language and its myriad expressions. Today, we're exploring an exciting topic that combines the beauty of language with the thrill of the great outdoors, saltwater trolling. Whether you're a language learner, a fishing enthusiast, or just curious, this video is for you. Let's unravel the meaning behind this phrase and discover why it's a favorite among fishing aficionados around the world. Saltwater trolling is a term that might sound complex at first, but it's actually quite straightforward once you break it down. Saltwater refers to the oceans and seas, vast bodies of water that are salty, as opposed to freshwater found in lakes and rivers. Trolling, in this context, does not mean the internet slang for provoking or annoying others. Instead, it's a fishing technique. In saltwater trolling, fishermen use a boat to move slowly through the water. They drag one or more fishing lines, baited with lures or bait fish, behind the boat. This method is designed to mimic the movement of prey, enticing predatory fish like marlin, tuna, and mackerel to bite. When it comes to saltwater trolling, the gear used is as important as the technique itself. Anglers typically equip their boats with trolling rods, reels, and lines specifically designed for the task. The choice of bait and lures is crucial, as they need to be appealing and convincing to the target fish species. Trolling can be done at various speeds and depths, depending on the fish being targeted. Some fish prefer a fast-moving bait, while others are more likely to bite something that's moving slowly and steadily through the water. The art of trolling lies in knowing the habits of your target species and adjusting your tactics accordingly. You might wonder, why go saltwater trolling? Beyond the thrill of the catch, trolling offers a unique way to experience the ocean's vastness and its inhabitants. It's an adventure that combines skill, patience, and sometimes sheer luck. For language learners, understanding activities like saltwater trolling can enrich your vocabulary and give you insights into the culture and lifestyles of English-speaking countries where fishing is a popular pastime. We hope this video has shed some light on the intriguing world of saltwater trolling. Whether you're planning to hit the high seas for your next fishing adventure or just enjoying learning about new expressions in English, remember that language learning is not just about memorizing words. It's about understanding the stories and cultures behind them. Thank you for joining us today, and we look forward to bringing you more exciting content. Happy fishing and happy learning!